Good evening, today we'll be doing a review of Auto Hut Design 4. Now uh, we'll do a close up and uh, go from there. Okay. Now, Auto Hut Design 4, um, very nice polished uh, looking pin. We'll start from the cap. So, on top you've got the Auto Hut logo, and then on the side around here you've got Auto Hut etched. And on the back you've got uh, Made in Germany and uh, the serial number. It's good when uh, pens have a serial number like uh, uh, Mont Blancs uh, tend to have a serial number. The clip here according to the advertising is solid brass and uh, it's platinum coated. It actually works uh, extremely well. Um, because it's such a nice cap this was one reason why I bought this pin. Um, also, you may be able to see it's got the word metal written here. Um, yeah, really try to tell you that uh, this pen is made out of uh, mostly metal. And uh, this bit here is made out of sterling silver. It's got etched uh, 925. Then the barrel is um, lacquered black material, um, probably brass inside and uh, the underside is uh, also polished uh, it's the same sort of look as uh, the cap so I'd assume that this is polished uh, platinum um, yeah very nice uh, looking pin so when you open it you get a nice steel nib now according to the advertising on Otto Hutt's uh, website uh, this is supposed to be a gold nib but uh, what I got was a steel nib I uh, inquired about it and they uh, promptly shipped out a gold nib which um, I will review at a later point in time anyway so uh, when I did get this pin I initially was disappointed because um, yeah for one it was supposed to be a gold nib and I didn't uh, get a gold nib but uh, a steel nib and uh, also I read somewhere and uh, this was a mistake on my part I, I was uh, under the impression that the cap was uh, completely metal however you won't be able to see it but on the inside um, it's actually plastic so the grip um, section uh, sorry not the grip but the thread section that threads in the cap is uh, plastic on this side but anyway that's um, I've done more reading and that's uh, not necessarily a bad thing so yeah um, also when you uh, so let's uh, open this up um, yeah quite you have to screw it quite a bit it comes with a nice uh, converter I've got some uh, Iro Suzuku black ink in it, um, yeah, decent capacity. So, um, yep. Um, all in all, um, this is uh, not a bad pen at all. Um, I purchased this from uh, Pen Heaven in the UK. It's uh, not a very cheap pin at the same time it's not a very expensive pin um, yeah uh, the service uh, was uh, pretty pretty good um, I received it within two weeks all the way from the UK which is uh, not bad at all um, in terms of how this pin writes um, it writes like the um, yeah, most uh, decent uh, steel nibs it was a bit scratchy when I got it I had to uh, smooth it out a bit um, yeah, but it's not the smoothest nib at the same time it's not the most scratchiest nib that I have the gold nib however I haven't um, inked it yet however it seems that uh, the tines are a little bit further apart than any other pen I own um, let me see if I can show you quickly so uh, I've got my handy dandy loop here and uh, yeah so uh, the nib came sorry yeah so I've got the gold nib in a package like this and uh, let me open it out and uh, 
show you so this is a gold nib um, okay this is the first time I'm trying this out so let's hope it works okay so that's the gold nib I wonder if I can actually show this to you um, yeah I apologize if I'm making you dizzy Yeah, perhaps you can see it there, um, the tip, um, there, there is quite a distance, if you hold it up to light, you can definitely see light uh, passing through, and uh, that is, uh, uh, let me try to show it to you sideways. Maybe I'll show it to you head on. I mean, in terms of the alignment of the tines, um, that is uh, just spot on. It's just that there is a uh, yeah quite a distance between the tines. So anyway, that's uh, that's that. I will uh, do a writing review uh, later at uh, some point in time. Um, if you do want me to do a writing review, I'll let me know. So, uh, yeah, um, Otto Hut uh, Design 4, very unique uh, looking pen, and uh, yeah, if you want to know more, let me know. Oh, um, I must mention one more thing, which is uh, the dimensions of the pen. So, uh, the total pen on its own, uh, 39.4 grams. The just the pen without the cap is 23.4 grams the cap on its own is 15.9 grams the total length of the pen when capped is 132.72 millimeters and the pen on its own just like that is 124.49 millimeters now another i should have mentioned this at the outset is this pen cannot be posted which is uh, very interesting. This is one of the only pins I think I own that uh, cannot be posted. But uh, yeah, all in all, a nice pin. Um, the steel nib does not have much flexibility. It's um, in fact very inflexible. Um, yeah, I haven't tried the gold nib, but um, yeah, most gold nibs uh, tend to be a little bit more flexible uh, than their steel counterparts. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I hope you found this review useful. Good night.